Hey YouTube, Joseph Vollmer here, and this is going to be the final installment, I think, in the uh, series on my Rhino Liner and some of the issues I've been having with it. Uh, today is the 23rd of February, so it's Saturday. I took my truck and dropped it off back at Z-Bark, which you saw in the beginning of the video uh, last Sunday, and I'm going to give you the rundown of what, exactly what happened in here. So do me a favor, but well, before we get into that, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you already hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, that way you get your post notifications every time I put a new video up. Guys, uh, don't forget to rate this video when it's all over with. And if you have any questions, throw them down in the comments section. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Uh, quick rundown. I'm going to put cards up here to the first and second video in this series. The third video that's in this series, if you haven't seen it already, you're not going to see it. When this video posts, I'm going to take it down. Uh, because I was very critical of z -Bar St. Charles in that video, and uh, maybe, I'd, maybe I'd jumped the gun a little bit on that. But anyway, a little bit of quick backstory. and I'm going to fill some pictures in here so you're not going to be staring at me the whole time. Uh, the quick backstory on the liner. I had z -Bar St. Charles rust-proof the truck, undercoat the truck, and spray in a Rhino liner when I bought this truck. The first bed liner, I started having issues with it peeling off after, oh, about six months and it was about a year in when I got a hold of them and got it back up there because it was really starting to get bad and they were supposed to we talked about peeling it off peeling it all off then and respraying it he got it back uh, he tried sanding down the edges where it was peeling and spraying a, a new liner over top of it uh, unfortunately for one reason or another not only were we having issues was, was I having issues with the original liner, but the one he sprayed over top did not adhere to the original liner like it should have. Um, I don't know what happened. It's not a big deal. It's over and done with now, but I was not happy about it at all because I got the truck back. He got done spraying it, I believe, on a Tuesday. No, I dropped it off on Tuesday. He got done spraying it, redoing it on a Wednesday. I didn't get a chance to pick it up till Friday after they closed for the evening. It was dark. Couldn't see it real well Saturday morning. Took a good look at it, and I'm like, oh, this is not good. You could already see where it was starting to lift around the edges in some spots. Got a hold of him. Um, anyway, long story short, went through, uh, through talk with him, talk with uh, or emailed uh, Rhino Lining's corporate warranty department. Uh, they got together with him. The decision was made that this thing was going to have to go back in and actually have that whole both layers of liner scraped off and, and redone. Uh, and to make this a shorter story possible, dropped it off last Saturday. He spent, or excuse me, I dropped it off last Sunday evening. He spent the better part of Monday, Tuesday, and most of the day Wednesday, his guys scraping that liner off. Um, got it all cleaned down. Got. It, I mean, I, I, I'm sure there, there, there were probably spots where they couldn't get the liner off, you know, in little corners and stuff, but as far I can't find them. If they're there, I can't find them. Uh, they did a phenomenal job getting the old liner off. Apparently they had a lot of issues with the passenger bedside. It actually was adhered very well. Um, and really on the passenger bedside, I didn't have too many problems with peeling. My biggest issue on the passenger side was on the inside of the wheel well. It had been, the, the original spray was a little thin and it wore through. Um, most of my issues with peel were on the bed floor, on the tailgate, and some on the driver's side, uh, bed side, and I think that there were some up on the, the front of the bed. Um, but anyway, they got it all scraped down, they got it all cleaned up, they got it reshot, and uh, it looks great. I'm going to show you this new liner now. Um, it looks better than the first the, the first liner ever did. I don't know how well it's going to show up. I'm out here in the daylight, but you can really see the texture in this liner. Um, if you look down at the sides, and I know you'll see some of the pictures, you know you can definitely see how much better this liner. I mean, it's it's stuck. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. I, at least I don't think so. I hope not. But it, it looks good. Um, you know these little spot oh shoot sorry guys you look down the edge of this liner you can see it's it's really really stuck down I don't see 
any spots where I'm concerned with it going to peel up. Um, you know, you can see these little areas here, and that's just where there was some liner, you know, up on top of the masking. And when they peeled it, it just left a little fuzzies behind. That's not a big deal. That'll wear off over time. I'm not concerned about that at all. I mean, you can see there's another little one there. But that's just, they have to peel the masking while this liner is still wet or they'll never get their masking out. And so when you do, sometimes you get some of that liner stuck, you know, the two, two different pieces. And that's not major. But if you look, like you can definitely tell a big difference here. And you can't see any of the... You know, you can't see any of the edges. This is actually a rubber plug in the bed. That's what you're seeing there. Um, but there again, you know, it looks great. This liner's got a lot better texture to it. They did a real good job getting inside the, the tie downs, which I'm sure I'll wear that inner layer off if I put any, tie anything down in here. That's just, it's going to happen. Um, but I mean, you can see this. What, what's in here right now is what I normally use my bed for. I mean, that trunk's always here. It's got my tie-down straps and stuff for my trailer. I got a gas can. I got a bucket of diesel fuel. I got a pitchfork back here. You know, I might have a tire or some random car parts back here, but nothing major. I think this time around, however, though, I am going to get a bed mat, one of those rubber bed mats, and put down in here um, just to help protect the main wear surface. And, you know, I'm not too worried about the liner, but on the same hand, if I get a little more protection, that's not bad plus it'll help to keep stuff from sliding around and beating on the bed too much but you know you can see all the way across I know some of the pictures you could see uh, pieces that were peeling from the original liner on, on along this edge of the tailgate you don't see that anymore I mean they got that all cleaned up or you know <laughs> as far as I can tell they got it all cleaned up if they didn't they got me fooled so I'm not complaining about it at all it looks good to me um, now just a quick rundown. Uh, the man that manages Z Bar location, I'm not going to mention his name. I did give him the opportunity if, uh, when I spoke to him originally about it, uh, when I was going to take the truck up there oh, oh, last Sunday. You know, if he wanted to, if he wanted to come on camera and kind of explain what happened with it, anything like that, I was more than happy to let him. He seemed real reluctant to be on camera, so I'm not going to push him. That's it. That's his choice. Uh, I am, however, going to keep my word. Uh, he he took it back in there. He made it right. This bed liner, I'm happy with. Um, you know, I don't think I don't think I'm going to have any issues with. Hopefully, I'm not going to have any issues with this one peeling off. If I do, I don't think it's going to be because of the application. I think it's going to be an issue with the com the compound, the makeup of the liner itself. And you know, if that happens, I'll deal with it then. But right now, this liner looks good. It looks a heck of a lot better than than it did a couple weeks ago. Um, and he did he did exactly what he said he was going to do. He scraped that thing down, and and you'll see here in the pictures that I'm putting up. They scraped down, got rid of all of that old liner, and then re-sanded, re-prepped, and re-sprayed this truck bed. And I think I'm going to be really happy with it. So, you know, thank you guys there at Z-Bar to St. Charles. I mean, you, we had an issue. You took care of it. Uh, you stood behind the product. I can't complain about that at all. And then on top of that, not only did he do that, but he, he, he did go a bit above and beyond. And he noticed in one of the videos I did, I did mention that there was a couple spots that I thought it gotten missed with undercoating, but I wasn't worried about it. You know, it, it was that wasn't something that concerned me, um, and I hadn't said anything to him about it because, like I said, it wasn't something that concerned me. He caught that in a video, and he called me. Well, I called him on, on Wednesday afternoon because he sent me a message Tuesday evening. He thought he'd be done with it midday Wednesday, and I called him Wednesday afternoon to see if he was going to be done. Uh, my boss was going up to St. Charles to visit some friends, could have given me a ride up. So if he was going to be ready, I told him I wasn't rushing him, but if it's going to be ready, I've got to ride up there. He said, look, he said, it's, we're having a little trouble getting the last bits of the liner off. He said, if we can keep it until Thursday, he goes, I'll figure out a way, we'll get it back to you Thursday evening. Um, he goes, I'll have my guys, he, he goes, I'll have my guys clean the truck up, you know, get it detailed out for you. And he goes, Where's, where are the spots that I missed, you know, I missed on the undercoating? Where are the spots that I missed with the rust proofing? And I told him. And I told him, I said, man, it's not a big deal. He said, no. He goes, while it's up here, I'll get those taken care of. We'll, we'll just, we'll take care of 
which was great. That was more than I was asking for, which he did do. I, I look, I, it's up under the truck. I, I got I could see it yesterday at work on a creeper, but unfortunately, I couldn't get a good picture on camera. Um, it just wasn't showing up on video, but it, it, it did get done. So I'm going to tell you that right now. And I mean, I'll show you. It's dirty now because I, I got it back Thursday evening. This is Saturday afternoon. It started raining yesterday morning and didn't quit until a little while ago. But you know, you can definitely see there's some dirt on there now. I mean, I've probably put. Oh shoot, I've probably put. Oh, I don't know. 60 miles on this truck, 75 miles on this truck since I got it back, and the better part of that was in the rain. But he did go through. I mean, this thing was shining. This thing was shining when I got it back. So, um, you know, out of respect for him, I'm not going to mention his name. If uh, he wants, and I am going to send him a link to this video because I do want him to know. Oh, there we go. Get me back in camera here. Get me back in frame. I am going to send him a link to this video because I do want him to know that. You know, look. I think you 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 did do what you said you were going to do. Um, you made this you you made this right. I'm happy with it, and therefore I'm doing what I said I'm going to do. And you know, I'm going to let people know that I am happy with the work that you did. Now, um, I will say this: if you if you plan on having a bed liner sprayed in your truck by anybody, make sure that you talk with them and communicate well with them. Um, that way, they know what you expect and and you understand what they're going to give you so anyway guys uh, like I said I hope you like this video I hope this is the end of this saga um, I will keep you posted on how this liner holds up you know if, if I start seeing it wearing quickly or anything like that I'll let you know um, but I don't think I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with this liner at this point due to application I think that's this application looks absolutely wonderful um, I don't think that's going to be a problem. So, like I said, guys, do me a favor if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. Don't forget to rate the video. Uh, questions, put them in the comments section. Don't forget the little notification bell. And guys, don't be afraid to get out there and get your hands dirty. You might have a little fun doing it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.